There's someone I want you to meet. This is Ted, my brother. Ted? They're off seeing this and that. Yeah. Oh, you should bring them over. It'd be lovely to see them again. Yeah, I will. So, do you know how long you're here for yet? Depends how long the job lasts. Well, you've got some front, I'll give you that. Why? Showing your face in the square twice in as many weeks. Huh. Now that Peter Den on about, not quite so fraught with danger, is it? Aren't you forgetting something? What? Pauline. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> well, that might mean. Nah, it's all right. We were, uh, we were just discussing a mutual friend. <laughs> Do you feel better now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like that on the buildings. <clears throat> I don't feel relaxed till I've had a shower and, you know. You hungry? Yeah, it's starving. Do you want a beer? Yeah, a quick one. Then I'll, uh, I'll have to be off soon. Are you stopping for tea? Sorry, sis. Promise Jimmy I'll be back. Uncle Jimmy? Well, I could hardly leave him behind, could I? I mean, good brickies are hard to find. You're welcome to stay. No, 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 no. I've, uh, I've stayed longer than I anticipated. Another time, eh? Yeah. Well, I missed you last time, didn't I? Yeah, I wasn't here long, just passing through. He's always dashing about somewhere. <laughs> a moving target's harder to hit. <laughs> and that right, Phil? Yeah, so they say. So, how long are you in London? Well, as I was saying to Cathy, I'm not sure. See how it goes, you know. No good asking him anything. Never give you a straight answer. <laughs> I'll try and remember that. So, what happened? Hey? We said he fell out of pain. Well. Although Pat wasn't around, Pete was still married when we started going together. And, uh, well, Ted wasn't too happy about it. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah, I suppose so. But I convinced him to try to get to know Pete. You know, give him a chance. And so he did. They went out for the odd drink and then, uh, Ted offered to help Pete out on his stall. Crazy. Yeah, it was great, for a while. Then Ted asked him to look after some stuff in the lock-up overnight. Said he had to deliver it somewhere first thing in the morning. And what sort of stuff? Might give you three guesses. Ted was no angel, believe me. Anyway, the next thing Pete knew, the police were kicking his door in. What? Uh, they said they'd had a tip-off. Who from? Anonymous, they said. But whoever it was said that the lock-up was being used for stolen goods. Well, Pete couldn't say where the stuff come from because Ted was my brother. Mm. And grassing up me through your brother not really exactly a dumb thing, is it? Mm, exactly. So he was arrested and charged, and then, because Pete wouldn't say anything, he got done for it. Bad? Well, bad enough. He got a suspended sentence, and he nearly lost his stall. But what was worse, that Pete's best friend at the time was Den. From the Vic? Well, he wasn't there, but, yeah. Anyway, Den accused Ted of setting Pete up, saying that, you know, it was him who phoned the police. And was it? Of course not. You wouldn't do that. Anyway, poor old Ted got the blame for it. Everyone believed Den, and Paulie went wild, saying that he'd nearly ruined the Bill family business. Anyway, then Den said he was going to go looking for Ted and he was going to kill him, and knowing Den, he probably would have done. So, Ted got packed off, and I had to choose between my family and the Bills. And you know the rest. So why's he come back here all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. Maybe he thinks with Den and Pete both dead, it's safe for him to show his face. And is it? Well, it might be. As long as Pauline doesn't see him. Who's that one? Two. 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 You are right, Kev? Fine. Good. Nothing like a contented woman, eh, bro? I find us a table. Will you stop whining, are It ain't my fault if she takes things the wrong way, is it? I think she knows Ted's around. No. She would have been over by now if she did. Listen, Kev, about Ted. What? Were you sure he had nothing to do with what happened to Pete? He told me he didn't. I believe him. But if he had it done, would you have forgiven him? Well, I'm not sure. Well, he's your brother, isn't he? It's only natural for him to look out there. Yeah, but brother or not, I loved Pete. No one had the right to interfere. 